Normalized power. Normalized power is actually a calculation that shows the physiological higher load of varying intensity compared to a training with a more or less constant power output. Suppose we take someone with an average power of 200 watt at a steady pace for two hours. And someone else with also an average of 200 watt, but with 50 watts in the first hour and 350 watts in the second hour. Both rides have the same average power, but their normalized power clearly does differ. 200 against 294 watt, to be precise. The physiological load and differences in intensity of both workouts are not well expressed when only looking at average power. In this case, normalized power comes in handy. The calculation of normalized power gives a more accurate indication of the intensity and load on the body of these workouts. Which is why we use this as a measure in join. The calculation of normalized power is quite complicated and sometimes not well understood. You often hear that normalized power filters out the zeros or that normalized power is the power you need to deliver to write at a constant speed. Both assumptions are completely wrong. The only thing important to remember is that it is a mathematical approach to express the variation in power and therefore the difference in the stress on the body.